everyone, it's Katie over here from Katie's Corner and welcome to my video. Before we start our vlog today, I wish to dedicate some minutes to Ana Luisa. Basically, Ana Luisa are a jewelry brand based in the US and they sell a multitude of jewelry pieces. They also use recycled material whenever possible and they basically create sustainably crafted pieces. They basically believe that luxury can be enjoyed without access, which I absolutely love that. And they have like I said, a multitude of pieces. They all come with their own unique name, which is absolutely beautiful. And they have kindly gifted me three of their pieces and I wanted to share them with you. Also have a 20% sale, which is their summer sale of 2021. I'll leave a link down below where you can access it because you will get 20% off your order from their pieces, which are absolutely beautiful. I've already collaborated once with them and I absolutely love them and their pieces. I can link that video down below as well. But today I'm going to be showing you three of their new pieces. As you can see, it comes with a box like this. So beautiful and sustainable. Did I tell you that each of the piece comes in their own little envelope? They're so cute. I've kept the envelopes I had received before and I'll keep these as well. So I'm going to show you each and every piece and actually also try them out. So the first one, oh my goodness. I have been seeing these in every single ad I see Ana Luisa in. So these are the Celeste earrings. They're absolutely beautiful. So one is in the shape of a moon and the other one is in the shape of a star. So I'm going to be trying them on because I have been looking at these earrings for so long. Whenever I see ads of Ana Luisa, like I would definitely just see these earrings and I just had to pick these and I'm so grateful that they sent them to me. So these are the earrings, absolutely beautiful. I actually really love them. Oh my goodness, I've always wanted a pair like these and these are like perfect for like work as well. I can wear them because they're not that big. And oh, and I would I would also wear them sort of in the second piercing that I have as well and wear another pair of earrings. But oh my goodness, I absolutely love these so much. And I'm so happy with these Celeste earrings and the star of them is so pretty. Oh my goodness, like, can you see how pretty that is? That is absolutely stunning. The moon on this side as well. So pretty, oh my goodness. That is the Celeste earrings. And now let's go on to the next thing right here. So then we have this one. Now this one is called Sylvia. And basically Sylvia comes into two necklaces, which are these ones right there. And basically you kind of layer them up. So I'm going to wear them and you're gonna see them very, very soon. Basically, this is Sylvia. So we have the first piece and then the second piece. And I kind of, what I like about these is that you can actually wear them either you can wear this on its own or you can wear that on its own or else you can just wear these two on the, or together and you can mix and match basically and I absolutely love that so much. Look at that, that just makes a statement. Like it just turns your outfit into something like different. It's like it spices it up basically. But I love these two together. Oh my goodness, they're stunning. They're absolutely stunning. I love it and I love the chains of both of them both on this one, but even on this one, on this one is really, really pretty, like honestly, and I just love them together. So this is Sylvia. Now let's try the last one. So this one is also something I've been eyeing so much. So this one is the Kari, but it's the reversible one. So basically you can wear it either on this side, like this, or else you can also wear it on this side like that. So I'm just gonna show both of them. Also on this one, so on these, they're not adjustable. There's only like one loop that you can loop them through. But on this one, on the Kari Reversible, you have either this one or this one or this one. So you have, it can be adjusted. So that is the first side of it applied. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So that is the one, the first side, the Kari Reversible one. So I like how no matter what side you actually wear it on, it is going to have sort of a stone there. Then this is the other side of it. It's actually really, really pretty and absolutely love this. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. So I'm basically gonna remain like this because they're so pretty, like their things are so, so pretty. I'm just gonna remind that I'm gonna leave a link down below because right now they have a summer sale of 20% off and you can get 20% off their items 
honestly, they're so beautiful, they're sustainable, and they're like good for the earth as well. So like, what more can you ask? So yeah, I'm going to go with my car reversible one, and I'm gonna love you, and I'm gonna leave you. I also wish to say a big thank you to Ana Luisa for this opportunity of working with them again. It truly means the world to me. Hi everyone, and good morning. So today is Sunday, and it is the 1st of August. July just flew by again. Another month just by. So today. <laughs> July just flew by. by. <laughs> what? <laughs> As you can see, Luke is still asleep. But he's driving, and today the plan is on him, right? <laughs> so today I have a new vlog for you. We did go to sushi yesterday to Amami and we really enjoyed it. However, I just literally went and I enjoyed it. I didn't take any videos. Luke was very happy because he got to eat the sushi immediately. Well, after just one photo. It went on whatever. Anyways, but today's vlog is basically going to be a trip to Gozo because if you didn't know, sort of Malta is sort of divided into three islands. So there's like Malta, the big one, and then there's Gozo and then there's Comino. We have to go to Comino this summer, maybe. We never went together. Like, that's another place we could go. It's really not nice when he's sleepy. You have to go on that side, don't, don't forget. Yeah, it's divided into three islands and today we're going to be going to Gozo. It's fine, you have to stay on that side, look on the right left. Let me drive, man. Grumpy in the morning, it's normal. But yes, so we're on the way to Gozo. Basically, you have to go to Chirkowa and you catch a ferry from there. So I haven't been to Gozo, I think, since 2019. No, ah, 2019 now, since 2019. So it's been a while that I haven't gone up. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And it's a beautiful day, obviously, but very hot <laughs> so um, so we'll see we'll see what we get up to and i'm gonna be taking you along with us so if you like today's vlog give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe here i am again with my elastic bands still rocking the boat but my teeth actually you know like these two now are even much straighter like they're not overlapping with the ones next to them so i'm very very happy the date is approaching of my next braces um, appointment and yeah i'm very excited to share it with you hopefully if all goes well so anyways i'm going to go and yeah let's see how goes our trip how goes our trip goes bye guys I'm 
even know the reason why, yeah I'm never really satisfied, yeah Looking up a paradise, yeah Without you by my side Imagine I walk through your doorway Imagine skipping all the foreplay Imagine all the stars in one place Cause you, you really make me wanna fight So I did not end the vlog properly yesterday. Basically, after Gozo, we kind of were so exhausted because it is so hot in Malta, like it's 40 degrees. So it's boiling. And basically we were really, really hot. <laughs> so I did not finish the vlog like I used to, but thought of just basically putting this together with what already I have taken. So, basically i have also been a year with my braces can you believe that i've already been one whole freaking year i remember this time last year was sort of like my first week i was still adjusting with my braces and now a year later here i am with my elastics as well i'm going to show you a clip of actually how i put on my elastics for all of you guys out there who have just received the news that you have to apply elastic bands trust me i know the feeling because i was like how the hell i'm gonna put those like little teeny weeny elastics on my braces well i'm just gonna leave a clip right now of how i actually do it and maybe i would help some of you guys so part of this vlog is obviously showing you how i put these rubber bands and sort of this is the magic trick that i found which actually works for me i basically have to put two rubber bands on the left and one rubber band on the right and one goes from the top canine to the molar at the back and basically the same thing on the other side so basically i have this bag obviously the dentist would give you the elastic bands that you would need and basically i received this which is a big saver so this i would use it basically to remove and then this side i would use it to ply so let's just take out the rubber bands basically this is the rubber band that we will be working with it just looks like z very tiny and what i do is first i would take this end i would put it around and i would stretch it because it will basically help you guys when you whoops when you adjust i swear i got the hang of this <laughs> Okay, so you would stretch and then I would hook it like this and I would basically apply it like that. So basically what you would do is you would apply it to the hook at the bottom and then once you hook it up from the bottom, then you will stretch it up to the top one. So let me see if I get this. You see, you stretch it and then you stretch it to the canine. And there you go. So again, I'm just going to show you on the other side. First, you can use this side to stretch, stretch it out. And then you would hook it. I always turn it from this side. So the hook is like facing the little mouth. <laughs> hook, and then you put it to the hook. And I just have to apply another one on the left. Hook. Ta-da! And now we have our elastics on. And that is how I actually applied my elastics, if you guys wanted to know. So yeah, there you go. It's not that bad, guys. Honestly, until you get the hang of it. And then once you do, you let me tell you, you're very, very, very much fine. So I thought of also sharing a bit of a braces update for you guys. So in my last braces update, I told you that I'm going to ask my dentist in my next braces tightening appointment when I'm going to take off my braces. And I did. Well, not really, because they actually told me when I'm going to take them off. And uh, I'm not going to tell you for now because I don't want it to like, I go and he'll tell me, oh, Kezia, no, it's not for now. So I'm not going to tell you, but hopefully soon you will know if I take them off or not. I don't know. But I did have like my rubber bands inserted. So I have, like I said, two on this side and one on this side. Hopefully it will kind of like put everything together. I do notice like that these two now have like moved drastically with the elastic bands. They do really help. And I know some of you have been telling me that they really do help. And I honestly now believe you because they do really help. Like these now have really moved in their place and I'm really happy with them. 
and yeah i mean the bottom now like seeing them i don't know like i'm hoping that i'm putting on their plastic bands properly because i'm like are they moving like aren't they moving like how they should not be moving i don't know anyways but the point is that they're absolutely amazing i mean from the first photo like up to now i'm like what are these my teeth and were those my teeth like that is crazy like they were so mm, they were everywhere and now they're like i'm very very happy with them so yeah i cannot wait to see them obviously without braces i cannot wait to eat like a like crunchy like peanut buttery cereal bar now like i'm literally like cra craving for them like i used to buy these brunch bars not like brunch bars but like these bars like from a website and i stopped i stopped because i obviously can't eat like this granola like chewy like peanut buttery type of things because obviously i don't know what will happen to my braces but i don't kind of want to mess with them now especially since i've only taken like once i've had like this top one come off and then i've never had like one of the brackets come off thank the lord for now but i don't want to kind of mess them up now so i'm really excited to take them off and i can't wait to eat peanuts as well like properly like i get like i've taken peanuts now i've had peanuts but it's kind of with like the whole conscious level of it all of like will i will i break my brace but so yeah i can't wait to just eat freely basically and like have like touch like feel my teeth like i cannot wait to do that like this is so strange i've been like a whole year now with them i did get used to them i kind of now miss the feeling of my teeth if you know what i mean so yeah even the fact that like sometimes i do feel like my mouth is way too small for them now so i'm like mm. anyways so i don't think i have anything else to say i mean i've left some photos as well of showing you guys obviously what the change has been like i mean it has been like amazingly like different like the change is so noticeable and i've been like obviously getting comments as well from you guys which i really thank you so much you're all amazing you've all been such a great support system to my throughout my braces journey so i just wish to say a big big thank you and yeah i hope obviously that i've also been of support to some of you who've had braces as well who've had their braces with me and i hope that we've been rocking our braces buddies journey together so yeah that is basically it. i don't think i have anything else to say but i kind of wanted to also include this bit of the vlog because i don't know how much of the stuff of, i got of gozo but basically we had a really good time but it was so freaking hot went to the widow mila window which we saw that and then we had some lunch at marcel foreign and i also met some friends and a family member as well nothing else nothing else to report guys today is monday i'm recording this on monday i actually recorded two videos i was like today i'm gonna get it today i'm going to do my case corner things and i'm so happy that i've done it so yes on wednesday i'm also going to go to a gym class i haven't been to a gym class and never well in Sterling i used to go so i haven't been since then i mean i've always done my exercise at home on my own but i feel like i feel like i can't do that anymore because it's so freaking hot here like 40 degrees today and it's just you can't do anything like you have no motivation to do anything so hopefully now i'm going with a friend of mine and we're gonna go and ace it together and hopefully we'll get it done so yeah i've also gotten a new like sort of mat as well which will hopefully motivate me even more but we'll see but yeah, I am going to end the video here. I also wish to say again a big thank you to Ana Luisa. Again, these are the bits that I got from Ana Luisa. I absolutely love these earrings. And like I said, I'll link the link down below because they're having an amazing 20% off summer deal for this summer for you guys. And you can purchase their bits 20% off, which is amazing. And their bits are so pretty. And honestly, it didn't take long to ship to Malta as well so yeah thank you so much to Ana Luisa thank you so much to you guys and I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog I know it came a week late but I hope you still enjoy it nonetheless and if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and again thank you so much to everyone who has supported me throughout my braces journey I love you all bye